Hello and welcome. Your ride today has over 1,000 horsepower, numerous switches and colorful gauges, and three 8-inch steel rims. Also, it's a helicopter, the Sikorsky S76. And that S right there, it stands for safety. So here we go. This is ice fishing. Clearly, it does not require all of your attention. But boarding a helicopter does, so you absolutely must put your phone away. Then you can tie your shoes or whatever and meet the ground crew. Please follow their instructions and directions at all times. Approach the helicopter in a straight line from the side, avoiding the front and the rear of the helicopter unless you're looking for a dangerous way to make confetti. Carry-on baggage is not permitted in the passenger cabin, so if you have any, please hand it to the ground crew as you board and they can place it into the baggage compartment for you, all nice and snug. Inside, you'll see that our seats have special belts attached to them. These seat belts are mandatory, so please fasten yours securely for the entire flight by inserting the flat metal fitting into the buckle and tightening the strap. After landing, only when it's time to deplane, lift up on the top portion of the buckle and it will release. If you're up front riding shotgun with the pilot, then your seat belt is different. You must insert all four straps into the slots on the buckle and then tighten the straps. To release, simply turn the buckle. Prior to takeoff and landing, all communication devices must be either set to airplane mode or turned off completely, and then stowed safely such as here, or here, or here, not here, and sure. The S76 has one, two, three, four doors. Please always wait for these to be opened for you. But in an emergency, a sliding door can be opened by unlocking it, rotating the handle down, and then pushing the door out, sliding it towards the rear of the aircraft. For all other doors, simply lift up on the silver lock pin, engage the handle, and push. If necessary, the door can be removed entirely by taking off this plastic cover and then pulling the red emergency lever. Then push the door outwards off of its hinges. Of course, please only only do this if instructed by the crew, otherwise you have to explain yourself to Greg. And here are some other items of interest. There are two fire extinguishers. One is under the first passenger seat on the left side, and one is on the post beside the pilot seat, hanging out with the first aid kit. There's an emergency locator transmitter right over here. And for all flights to remote areas, there's a survival kit in the baggage compartment. Life vests are located in a pouch underneath your seat, unless you're sitting in the very last row, in which case your life vest is under the seat in front of you. If you need to use it, just remove it from the plastic covering and slip it over your head. Then, attach the clip to the buckle in front and pull the strap to tighten it around your waist. Only after you have left the aircraft, pull down on the red tabs to inflate your life vest. If it does not inflate immediately, simply blow into the red tubes. There is no smoking on the helicopter or in the aircraft operating area, and that shouldn't shock you since it's no longer 1953. For your continued safety, please follow the instructions of your crew at all times. Further information can be found in the safety features card, which is located in the seat pouch in front of you. It's pretty awesome, so consider reading it before takeoff. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask any of the staff or crew members for assistance. Except for Greg. Maybe leave him alone.